Alright guys, it's finally the start of the 2022 season here at Volusia. I totally got behind the eight ball. We had 3.30 drivers meeting, had to open up the t-shirt trailer, was in a big rush. Um, wasn't able to get a video yesterday for the first night, but as you know, the first two nights got canceled with the All-Stars. So that made us uh, only start the season with the World of Outlaw races. So we had no practice, missed two All-Star races and just started up with the season here. So. Um, it was very rough. The track was extremely wet. It's been cold uh, the previous days and they could not get the track dried out. So we had an extremely rough odd racetrack here for Volusia. It's never been like this. Um, we drew uh, right in the middle. I think we drew like a 38 or something out of 57 numbers and uh, went on group number four. Was able to just squeak and uh, qualify eighth to get second in heat number four was able to get the jump on the start, win our heat race, draw the four in the dash. I finished fourth in the dash, started fourth in the A main, and ended up finishing fourth in the feature. I put 40 tear offs on, I've never done that in my career. I ended up having 10 left, but uh, in the dash, I pulled eight tear offs in six laps and actually ran out with two to go. So the track was extreme conditions. We were just happy to get a top five and uh, race to live another day, so. Um, Feels good to just start the season off with a top five. I think tonight's gonna be a way different racetrack. So we're gonna see what we get tonight, guys, and uh, hopefully keep the top five streak going and compete for a win tonight. We'll uh, talk to you guys later. We got limited GoPro footage just because it was so muddy, but we got Tylen here getting some B-roll in the pits. Hope you guys enjoy, and uh, we're back doing uh, weekly videos here with the sprint car racing, guys. Thank you. And behind him from Watertown, Connecticut, piloting the Houston Speedway Billion Automotive Jackson Motorplex High Performance Lubricants TRC Transportation, number two, Dave Gravel. Bucking Bronco out of turn number four for David Gravel. He's 14th, quick at a 14, 484, 14484. Lap two for Brian Bell, better 15th quick at a 14.551.4550. Second lap time for David Gravel, big improvement up to seventh quick at a 14.167.14167. Green and go for the final heat race of the night. They make their way into turn one. Down low, Tyler Courtney up high. David Gravel. Gravel makes the top side work and takes the lead down the back straight away. David Gravel sailed up to the top of turns one and two to grab the early race lead. Tyler from the field. Lap five about to go in the books. Gravel out in front. Tyler Courtney second. Brad Sweet in third. In fourth, Logan Schuhart. Giovanni Selzy fifth. Sheldon Hudson in sixth. Then Brian Bell running in the seventh spot. And Bill Rose in eighth. Rose has taken the number six into the infield. Two laps to go. The Big Game Motorsports number two of David Gravel leading it by 1.67 seconds. Tyler Courtney has managed to put a few more car lengths between himself and the third place nap at number 49 of Brad Sweet. A top groove starting to open up in turns three and four as the leader looks at the white flag. Back straight away for the final time. David Gravel used the high side to grab the early lead. Hangs on the rest of the way for the heat race victory. Tyler Courtney goes to the dirt. It's really mixing up the pills in the NOS Energy Drink can. Four. <laughs> he said he'll take it. That's always good. So this is a track where you've always run well, but you're still chasing that first Volusia win. What's it going to take to get that top spot tonight? Uh, track position so key. Obviously tonight it's going to be even more important, but um, I feel like I'm actually pretty good here. Just no wins to show for it. So, um, man, uh, it's going to be a tough night tonight. It's going to keep getting rougher and rougher as the night goes. So it's going to be uh, physically demanding. It's a heck of a way to start off the year. So we'll be sweating and sore after tonight. But uh, hopefully we get this track better for everybody for the rest of the week and put on a good show for everybody. Good luck, David. Winner on the pole for the first feature of the 2022 season as we go green on the Dirt Vision Fast Pass Dash. Rolling into turn at number one, Aaron Reitzel to the early lead. Again up on the top second, races to the outside, now tries to tuck inside out of turn four. 
Rachel leads the opening circuit. Macri tries to jump up top, bounces his way through one and two. Still holds second in front of the number two of David Crowell. Running fourth in the order, Donnie Schatz. Tyler Courtney in fifth, lap number two in the books. All right, guys, again, I failed at doing the video after the races last night. We're here at Bucky's in Daytona Beach. Um, I've been to Bucky's before in Texas, but I believe this is the first one in Florida. And uh, man, they have everything. If you guys never been to one, go to Texas, come to Daytona, check it out. It's really, really cool. Hopefully Bucky sees this, wants to sponsor me one day. But uh, last night, guys, was an awesome night. We qualified quick time. We started in the pole of heat number one. We uh, ran second in the heat, drew the, drew the pole, the dash, uh, led. Pretty much all the race. We led up to lap 14, caution came out, I hit one of the holes the wrong way and blew the right front shock off the car. The stud broke on the axle. So a uh, green flag came out for lap 15. Right front was up in the air, kind of bouncing around a lot. Um, in clean air, I was really, really good. But once we got in the lap traffic and the rough stuff um, and had to slow down and really get all that weight on the right front, that's when I started struggling. But um, we fell back to third there with, I think, like nine to go. Um, was able to get a little bit of clear track and get a couple good laps in. Closed back up on those guys, passed Sheldon for second, and then passed Brad for the lead uh, coming to the white. Got through one and two clean. Uh, everything was working good and great. Uh, kind of threw a slider line in three and four and just hit the hole wrong. Got the front end bouncing around. When I hit the holes, when the shock's not on the right front, it just lets the right front travel up more and more and more and then i just have less weight on the nose so when the shock is on the car it can only extend so next pair onto the speedway from watertown connecticut the houston speedway billion automotive jackson motorplex high performance lubricants trc transportation number two of david gravel noah gas in the 20g david gravel in car number two gravel's fourth place finish here last night goes along with an all-star win here in 2017 lap number one for david gravel is quick time 13 9 1 6 1 3 9 1 6 hey, david gravel now your fastest qualifier at 109.945 miles per hour second lap for david gravel number 14 2 11 first lap better at 13 9 1 6 I love this. This strategy really seems to be mixing everything up well. What? Oh, oh, he made a face at me like it was a bad draw. It was the number one. You, we have talked about this, that sometimes you come up here, you draw the eight, the seven. How cool is it to see the one come out of the NOS energy drink can? Uh, it feels good. Obviously, it's a long season and there's a lot of dash draws, but whenever you get a good one, that's definitely a, a very positive thing. So. Track's a lot different tonight um, in a good way. So um, I felt pretty good there in the heat race and we'll just try to keep up with the racetrack and m make the right calls and uh, hopefully try to get a win tonight. Definitely, congrats on the one and good luck tonight. Green flag. David Gravel jumps to the early lead. Sheldon Hodden showed a peek to the inside. Couldn't make it happen there. Really strong after setting tonight's Slick Woody's quick time. Gravel was the leading qualifier last season with the World of Outlaws. Checkered flag in the air. David Gravel wins the Dervision Fast Pass Dash of Speedway Park. Wheel to wheel into turn one. David Crowell low, sliding up the banking. Sheldon Hodden showed up top with a run on him. Down the back straightaway toward turn three. Gravel with the lead, but Sheldon Hodden showed right there. David Crowell, Sheldon Hodden showed nose to tail as they cross the line. Crowell leads the opening lap. Tyler Courtney running in the third position. In fourth, it is Brad Sweet. Jacob Allen runs fifth. David Gravel continuing to show the way with Sheldon Hottenshield right there behind him. Brad Sweet now going to work on Sunshine. Sweet battling Tyler Courtney for the third spot. A peek to the inside entering turn number one. Looking for the lead. Sheldon right there as they roll into turn number three. David Gravel low, drifts high. Sheldon on the top trying to cut underneath. Can't make it happen there. Tyler Courtney still holding off Brad Sweet for that third position. More traffic with which to contend for the race leaders. Sweet again a run on Courtney down the backstretch into turn three. Give it to the big cap. Brad Sweet will take the third position away from the 7 BC. 
Sheldon Hodenshield right up against the wall in turns one and two. But now, David Gravel and Sheldon Hodenshield about to have some company in the form of the three-time and defending series champion, Brad Sweet, gaining on Gravel and Hodenshield. Heavy, heavy traffic for the race leaders. We work on lap number 10 of 30. Sweet to the inside of Sheldon Hottenshield. Can he get second? They nearly bang wheels coming out of turn four. They go nearly three wide with a slower car of Bill Rose. Sheldon Hottenshield fending off the three-time and defending series champion, at least for the moment. Meanwhile, as they go at it, David Gravel puts two slower cars between himself and second place. Donnie Schatz closing on the 1A of Jacob Allen in the battle for the fifth spot, and Allen himself getting closer to the 7BC of Tyler Courtney. Sheldon Hodgson able to get away just a bit from that Napa number 49 of Brad Sweet in the race for the third spot. David Gravel opening up a 1.3 second lead as we close in on halfway. Jacob Allen to the inside of Tyler Courtney, looking for fourth, and Donnie Schatz trying to come with him. Donnie Schatz by Courtney. Schatz now to the inside of Jacob Allen, looking for fourth from row number six. Donnie Schatz a little crossed up out of turn two. On the move once again, that number eight machine of Aaron Reitzel with the caution flag wave. Giovanni Selzy slowing to a stop on the outside of corner number four. Foam restart zone between turns three and four. We'll watch them now as David Gravel brings the field back to green flag conditions. Gravel back to the lead. Brad Sweet coming after Sheldon Hodgson once again for second. Hodgson way up to the high side of the speedway. Tyler Courtney gets back by Donnie Schatz and now on the move. J Mac McFadden rolling forward in the Roth Enterprises. Number 83 gets by Donnie Schatz. Pardon me, that is the 41, my mistake, the 41 of Carson Macedo. Macedo to the inside of shots, and Macedo's moving forward. He started 16th. Lots of hard chargers in white cars in this one. Carson Macedo in the 41, James McFadden in the 83. Macedo to the inside of Sunshine, Tyler Courtney, a bold move there. Puts Carson Macedo into the top five. Donnie Schatz will follow him into the sixth spot. David Gravel continuing to show the way. James McFadden now coming after Tyler Courtney in the race for the seventh position. Sweet to the inside out of turn four, all over Sheldon Hodgson for second. The big cat low in the one and two, gonna try to slide up the racetrack, but Sheldon's got the momentum, he is right there. They'll go side by side, both of them gaining ground on David Gravel. Brad Sweet takes second at least for the moment. He can hold it off of turn number four. Brad Sweet now second with 11 laps to go. Lead last time by 1.1 seconds for David Gravel. Traffic quickly coming into view for the race leader. Courtney and McFadden continuing their battle for seven. J Mack a look to the inside. Heavy traffic now right in front of the Houston Speedway. Number two, David Gravel leading it, but Brad Sweet all over him out of turn number two. The race for the lead, Gravel a little sideways, and Brad Sweet goes to the inside to take the lead. Brad Sweet, your new race leader out of turn four on lap number 22. Brad Sweet took advantage of a slight miscue in traffic by David Gravel. Gravel will try to reel him back in, but Sheldon Hottenshield now closing in on David Gravel. Sheldon to the high side, cuts to the inside out of turn number four, racing for second. Sheldon Hottenshield will have it. Sheldon Hottenshield second, and now he comes after the Napa 49. Jacob Allen now closing on Gravel for third, but he's got company. Here's Macedo to the inside. Carson Macedo by Jacob Allen to take fourth. Brad Sweet, Sheldon Hodgson, David Gravel, one, two, and three. Next time by, five laps to go at Volusia Speedway Park.
Sheldon Hottenshield, a run on the Big Cat, down the front straight away into turn one, sweet down low, held up by a slower car, Sheldon Hottenshield looking for a run on the high side, down the back straight away, Sheldon Hottenshield looking for the lead, Brad Sweet trying to work that low line, in the way of the number six of Bill Rose, and now Hottenshield to the inside of Sweet looking for the lead, he's got it for a moment, big time slider into one and two, Sweet trying to come back at him, but Sheldon Hottenshield will lead down the back straight away, top three in a blanket under traffic now in turn three and four sweet takes the lead back for the moment can he hold it at the line yes he can brown sweet Sheldon hodgshill david gravel one two and three back straight away into corner number three gravel to the inside of hodgshill to the inside of sweet looking for two for one in the lead can't get the lead but he'll take second from Sheldon hodgshill with two laps to go Sheldon to the high side in one and two, a run around the outside of David Gravel, and now both of them come after Brad Sweet. A three car race for the lead to the white flag, and David Gravel's got the top spot back. One lap to go. David Gravel leading and Sheldon Hot and Shield out of turn two for the final time. Down the back straightaway, they'll race for the win in a three and four. David Gravel moves up to try to block. Sheldon turns it underneath him out of turn number four at the line. Sheldon Hunt and Shield wins it as they cross under the checkered flag. But, you know, bottled up off of turn number four there on the final corner and Sheldon able to sneak by you. I mean, I hope everybody enjoyed that race. I know the track sucked last night, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I wanted to win that really, really bad. We fought really hard. I got, I went really, really slow for two laps, and uh, right at that caution with 16 to go, my right front shock's gone. So I got uh, three shocks on this car, and when I could haul ass and get this thing to lay left, the car was amazing. But once I slowed down and got my right front and right rear in the holes, that's where I gave it, gave the time up, and I just got too high, hit the holes, and that's where he got me. So it is what it is. I fought back as hard as I could and gave myself a chance to win the race again and uh, wanted to win for Todd and everybody at Big Game Motorsports and Houston Speedway, Billy and Automotive, but second star spot tonight. What lap did you say the right front shock broke? Once that caution came out on lap 14, I let off the gas and hit the hole in turn two, and I went like way up towards the wall, and it broke then. And on the restart, I was flying the right front and down the front straightaway. And uh, man, it was taking rubber off the two on the bottom, and I wanted to hit that, but I just could not. When I slowed down, the car handed really bad with three shocks. So I had to try to drive as hard as I could, and just uh, was a half a corner too short. David Gravel tonight, ladies and gentlemen, finishes up in the second position. And in so last night, man, it was an awesome race. Uh, we, we led most of the race and lap 14, the caution came out. I hit the hole wrong and uh, messed up the right front shock, broke the stud off the shock. But uh, in clean air after that caution, the car felt really, really good, was really fast. Got in a lap traffic, started struggling uh, with that shock and lap traffic and dirty air and slowing down um, and was able to fall back to third. Uh, didn't give up and was able to hit three, four good laps in a row was able to get the lead on the white flag lap and lead it all the way till coming out of four, kind of drove through the bottom to the top, hit the hole wrong and was getting really close to the wall and just twitched the car a little bit and really broke my momentum and gave Sheldon a shot to drive by me right there at the finish line. So it was, overall, it was a really, really good night. We're proud of uh, our team, the speed we have and where we're at right now. So obviously we want to win races. It's early in the season. If we keep doing what we're doing, we should have plenty of chances to challenge to win races. So, um, you know, points are important. It's early in the season, but we're just going to go in tonight, try to qualify good again, get in that dash, and try to have another solid run. So hopefully we just keep clicking these things off. He's in the sixth position, one, four, two, two, five. First out in the next pairing, the current point leader with the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series from Watertown, Connecticut. The Houston Speedway Billion Automotive Jackson Motorplex High Performance Lubricants TRC Transportation, number two, David Gravel. And behind him from Plainfield, Indiana, driving car number six, the Simpson Safety Equipment. Who's your tires? Maxim Chassis Entry, Bill Rose. Bill Rose in car number six, David Gravel in car number two. Gravel fourth here on Thursday, second last night, an all-star winner here in 2017. Lap number one for David Gravel. He is seventh quick at a 14, 453, 14453. First lap time for Bill Rose will be ninth quick at a 14, 749, 14749. Gravel on lap number two. Quick time! 14, 082, 082. Second lap. We 
go green flag racing out of turn four. Kerry Madsen is side by side with Craig Kinzer. David Gravel trying to make it a three car battle. Kinzer leads at the exit of corner number two. Go down the front straight away. David Gravel takes the second spot away. Kerry Madsen running third side by side for fourth. They'll stay wheeled. The green flag is waving on the feature at Volusia Speedway Park. They race into turn one. David Gravel down low to grab the early race lead. Craig Kinzer second. Brent Marks around the Gravel. Meanwhile, maintaining a 1.1 second lead over Craig Kinzer. Traffic soon to be a factor here at Volusia Speedway Park with lap times in the low 14 second bracket at over 107 miles per hour. Brent Marks gaining some ground on the second place car of Craig Kinzer as leader David Gravel now officially in traffic to the inside of Alex Bowman and now around the outside of Bill Rose out of turn four. Now held up by a slower car down low in three and four drifts up the banking and that will allow Craig Kinzer to close just a bit. Brent Marks keeping pace, and Brent Marks third, Brad Sweet in fourth, James McFadden fifth, Donnie Shaw sixth, Sheldon Hodges in seventh, Corey Elias in eighth, Giovanni Selzy ninth, and Bronx in in tenth, caution on the speedway! And that is Craig Kinzer, Craig Kinzer who had been running second! David Gravel back on the throttle, Brent Marks trying to stay with him, James McFadden gets to the third spot, great restart for Sheldon Hodges, Sheldon, nine laps to go! Gravel has had it all his way so far. Right up in front of the Boot Motorsports number 13. Oh, Gravel nearly got in. Tyler Courtney putting the 7BC a lap down in turn number two. That was very, very close for the race leader. And Courtney now off the pace. It looks like he will pull into the infield. This time by two laps to go. David Gravel with a 1.8 second lead as he races down the back straightaway. White flag in the air. David Gravel rides the cushion to turn one and out of turn two. Brent Marks getting closer but running out of time. The monkey finally off the back of David Gravel. He wins a World of Outlaws feature and goes up to celebrate for the first time at Volusia with the Outlaws. David Gravel, your 2020. This is a long time coming. I believe this was the 27th feature event that you have started here with the Outlaws and finally be able to get the win. Last year had three fourth place finishes, started out the week with a fourth place finish, second so close last night. But how does it feel to finally get a win here at this place? I'm back. <laughs> Man, it feels really good. Uh, we had such a good car last night, and uh, to lose it in the last couple of feet, it was such a bummer. Um, if we didn't knock that shock off, I think we had the car to beat, but uh, you know, made a couple mistakes there and wasn't able to get the job done. But the rebound tonight, qualify like we did, start fourth in that heat race, and uh, you know, getting that dash was was the whole thing. I got lucky; I was the last one to draw and uh, got the two, and that that just made up for. A lot easier night, that's for sure. So I got to thank Cody, Trey, and Zach. Um, they work really hard. Uh, obviously, Cody had his accident this offseason. He's back stronger than ever. And uh, we're refocused, and we have a really good team. We got one of the best car owners in the business, and uh, he spends the money, whatever we need, to win races. So uh, really looking forward to this year. To finish second with a brand new team last year in the point standings is a huge thing. But now heading into this year with a year under your belt with Cody Jacobs and everybody else on the team, people are saying that you are a legitimate championship contender this year. Is that how you feel as well? It's hard. I've never done it before. So I've been doing this since 2013 on the road and learning what to do and what not to do. So maybe this is my time. I don't know. It's a very, very long season. So we're going to take it one at a time and go from there. But I got to thank Houston Speedway, Billion Automotive, um, High Performance Lubricants, JRC Transportation, uh, Maxim Chassis, Morrison Engines, uh, FK Shocks. Um, you know, it, it's a team effort here. And uh, like I said, I'm excited for this year. and. Got to thank Todd and his whole family, and uh, let's let's keep rolling. Yep.
on behalf of the World of Outlaws and World Racing Group and uh, the great staff here at Volusia and all these great fans here tonight, I present to you one of the hardest trophies to win in all of motorsports, the 2022 Gator Champion for your Sprint Car Series. What's up guys, just finished up with the Dirt Car Nationals, driving back home to West Palm Beach. It's one in the morning, we got about an hour ride left, but a great way to end the weekend. Um, this actually didn't start off good, we qualified 16th, track was taking rubber already from the Modifies racing earlier tonight. We started 4th in heat race number 4, was able to get the 2nd on lap 1, get in the dash, I was the last one to draw a number. So it was out of my hands and the two was left. Uh, from there we started second in the dash. We were able to uh, get the jump and win the dash. Starting the pole of the A main. Set sail for a while, got into some lap traffic. Diced it up with some guys, had a caution. Just passed halfway, I think on lap 16. Um, then I had a dash for about 10 laps and dealt with some lap cars for the last few. Car got a little tight. And we made it to the checkered with uh, no challenges and uh, was able to get the feature win and the overall Big Gator Championship. You know, it's a little bit bittersweet just because it was only three races instead of five that we normally have. But still, we we're uh, one of the best cars every single night. So to run fourth, second, and win is uh, a great way to start off the season. Uh, get to leave the weekend with the points lead. Obviously, it's very early, but it's definitely a good start where you want to be. Um, I got to thank all the fans that came to the races. Merchandise trailer is very busy. The die casts are in the merchandise trailer. They're selling really hot online, so thank you guys for love and support. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. Check out shopdgr.com. Check out all our new merch. And uh, we got a weekend off next weekend. We're going to enjoy the Super Bowl tomorrow, which will be probably the day this video gets posted. But I uh, can't thank Trey. Um, what are these guys' names? Trey, Zach. Cody, and Zach. Um, Zach's never won a World of Outlaw race before, so uh, really cool to get him his first World of Outlaw victory. He's pumped. Todd and his uh, crew with Big Game Motorsports was all there. So can't thank them all enough for giving us the tools to go out and perform so I'm gonna drive home the rest of this way guys and uh, get some rest I had some chocolate milk brought to me and I did not do the reviews on it but I will have the milk and I will do a review at some point in a different video so thank you guys very much thanks for the love please subscribe peace out